A viral social media post by a plastic surgeon claims extensive running will cause your face to look older faster. He says it's because of the bouncing associated with running. Wake Up Charlotte's Megan Bragg fact checks this post. If you want to stay looking young, stop running. That's what a New York plastic surgeon is suggesting, saying extensive running gives people an older looking face faster. But is that true? To get some answers, we went to sports medicine doctor David Geyer and the Skin Cancer Foundation. It's about running. This TikTok video by New York plastic surgeon Gerald Ember has gotten almost 3 million views. He says long distance running and longtime runners can develop thin and older looking faces because of the bouncing associated with running. If you're a experienced runner, you've done it for you know, 10, 20 years, it is possible that your face could look older than somebody your age that does other types of exercise. Though Dr. Geyer says this can be true, he says it's not because your face is bouncing. There's no evidence at least that that your collagen and your cheeks and will start to sag with repetitive bouncing. If that was the case, it wouldn't just be running. It would be Stairmasters and maybe the elliptical. There are, however, other factors that can contribute to aging skin for longtime runners. Anyone who runs outside or really does any type of outdoor exercise is exposing their face to a lot of sunlight and ultraviolet light. That ultraviolet light will cause your skin to age. According to the Skin Cancer Foundation, regular daily use of SBF 15 can reduce your risk of developing melanin melanoma by 50% and in turn can prevent premature skin aging. Dr. Geyer says fat loss in your face, which can happen when you run, can also make you look older. People that do that level of training, an hour, two hours a day or more that are very thin, some of that will come from the fat in the face. Overall, Dr. Geyer says running is better for you than not, so you can lace up those shoes, but be sure to put on that sunscreen. With your Verify Fact Check, I'm Megan Bragg. If you have something you would like us to verify, just email us at verify at wcnc.com.